write the life of Sayyidina Yaqub bin Ishaq alayhi salam, great Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the facts which we are going to be discussing today, we might be listening first time. We all know that Hazrat Sulaiman alayhi salam, we did make his recall in one of the five years, we did celebrate his urush. He have constructed, he have built Masjid Aqsa. But the point we always miss that the foundation of Masjid Aqsa was laid by Hazrat Sayyidina Yaqub. This vision, this idea of construction of that blessed mosque, our first Kaaba, was laid, the foundation was laid by this great Nabi of Allah, the beloved father of Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam, Hazrat Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam. And he was the son of Hazrat Sayyidina Ishaq alayhi salam. And the blood lineage, alhamdulillah, is great that our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam is from the lineage of Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam. And Hazrat Ishaq was also the son of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. And the blessed wife name of Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam was Rahil. And his blessed Qabr Mubarak is in the city of Israel, Jibrun. In Masjid al-Khalil, there is a cave under Masjid al-Khalil and Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam is buried there. Alhamdulillah. And his legacy of the construction of Masjid al-Aqsa was continued by Hazrat Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam and then his son Hazrat Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam. So it is very important for us to keep the legacy alive of Awliya Atta. And how we would do that? By making ourselves steadfast on Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama. How beautiful this blessed Jamaat of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama is. Okay, if you see Abu Bakr as Siddiq, he is from Ahlu Sunnah. If you see Hazrat Umar Farooq, he is from Ahlu Sunnah. If you see Hazrat Usman Ghani, he is from Ahlu Sunnah. Someone asked Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala, oh, which group you belong to? In his era, there was a lot of group, a lot of fitna. Logon ne What group you belong to? Log kate nahi. Call yourself Mu'min. Call yourself Muslim. Do not say I am Sunni. No, this is the legacy of Sayyidina Ali radiyallahu ta'ala oh, to tell others that what sect you belong to. Someone asked, hey, what is your sect? Hazrat Ali radiyallahu ta'ala gave reply, Nahnu ahlu sunnah wal jamaah. I belong to ahlu sunnah wal jamaah. Which is the maslak of Abba Bakr as siddiq Which is the maslak of Hazrat Umar Farooq? And that is the maslak of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are proud to be Mu'min and Muslim today. Why? Islam is that religion in which Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have asked us, have ordered us to respect every single Nabi who have placed feet in this dunya and this legacy you won't find in any other religion. Summa alhamdulillah, so proud to be Muslim ki aap Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam se lekar Sayyidina, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam tak tamam ka zikr karte hain, tamam se muhabbat karte hain aur kamli wale pe marte hain. This is about Ahlu Sunnah wa Jama'a inshallah. Yahaan se aage as we have discussed last night as well and the verse I have quoted Jo Hazrat Sayyidina Yaqub alayhi salam, the life of Hazrat Sayyidina Yaqub bin Ishaq alayhi salam was the example, was the mazhar of this blessed verse of Holy Quran whenever he used to remember Sayyidina Yusuf. So Quran, 1439 years ago, lekin Ambiya also have practiced Quran because this verse of Quran stands, ala bi zikrillahi tatmahi nul he used to make a zikr of Allah. He used to be intoxicated in the remembrance of Allah. And that's how he bear that pain of the Judai distance of Yusuf alayhi salam. And he used to send salutation upon who? Upon your and my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.